You've told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. We're going to be doing a spring inspired clean with me. Lots and lots of jobs are tackled in this video. So if you want to spring clean with us, please keep watching. Okay, first job, we are in Darcy's bedroom. Darcy is my daughter. Now her bedroom was well overdue, a big deep clean. The first job was to strip the bed and I actually wanted to strip her cover off of her mattress. She's got a memory foam mattress. And then I wanted to spray the foam with a um, like antibacterial and give it a good hoover. So while I've popped all of her like sheets and blankets, things like that in the wash, we're giving the mattress a once over before we stand it up to air it all out. And then we get to work on the other jobs in the bedroom. The commitment of a romance And I established that foam is not easy to hoover. It was pulling and dragging, um, so I had to do it with the actual long nozzle bit of the hoover on. Um, but yeah, we got there in the end, but it's super, super hard. If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second, cause they're playing the best song. I'll be there if you reach out to me. fast approaching um, Darcy's got drawers under her bed so her bedroom was decorated not too long ago just before Christmas um, and while we were sorting everything out we just plonked everything from her old bedroom in these drawers so this drawer that she's going through now is just filled with you know goodness knows what to be honest so it was well over due to sort out so she is doing that um, I'm just helping her get everything out and we do also need to go through her summer clothes which are in the next drawer along so I know you know what fits what doesn't fit what she needs for spring and summer this year but it just felt good to just go through this get rid of what we don't need i now have such a huge bag ready to donate to the charity shops when they open but yeah she knows where everything is she knows what she has and it's so much more organized so i'm glad we got this job done <laughs> Now I'm leaving Darcy just to finish off sorting and arranging her drawer how she wants it and then I'm going to um, start with the windows. So with the shutters, love them, I know I talk about them in all my videos, you're probably all bored of it but I love them but they're little dust traps. So I've opened her windows because it was a lovely sunny day um, and I just needed to hoover the actual windowsill. I find it easier because if I dust it and there's a lot there it just ends up flying around the room. So I've hoovered that out and then I just like to um, dust over all of the slats of the actual shutters and then I gave her windows are clean on the inside because they were a little bit grubby and not as clean and when the sun shines through you really really notice it um, so please to report back they are sparkling now and it just makes a huge difference I feel Without your love, I am out of place. 
to her wardrobe and her dresser area where her TV is and I noticed some of her LOL dolls had fallen on the floor. Um, we keep them up here on her wardrobe because she doesn't actually reach for them that often. Um, she's going to be nine in May and it's very difficult now. She's got like a whole box of Barbies that she barely plays with. Um, so yeah, I've put them up here but they just obviously get dusty and they kind of fall down when we open the wardrobe so I'm a little bit sad really because I'm thinking it's not going to be long before she stops asking for toys altogether but I do like it because it just does look like really girly in this corner um, and then she's just helping me here dust her drawers and dust her little ornaments and things like that and then she likes to rearrange them after <laughs> my most favorite part of her bedroom this is where her dressing table and her shelving unit is so again it's super super dusty um so we're just taking everything off giving it a bit of a rearrange and um, making sure everything is lovely and sanitized and then we do actually go through her drawers that she has under her dressing table because we were finding we were struggling to be able to push her drawer in and she's a bit of a hoarder to be honest so i have to encourage her just to keep going through her things and seeing if she actually does need it want it if she's going to use it so um this is why i had her help me in her bedroom because one i like for her to be able to keep on top of it as well i don't mind helping her cleaning her bedroom but you know she has a little list of chores to do and that's how she earns pocket money so yeah i think that's really really important and um it's actually stayed lovely and clean since we both did this there you carry i would never judge don't you ever say you're sorry i don't mind if you don't mind it sharing all your secrets with me cause ooh how i fell in love couldn't see it coming best in my stereo i can feel it coming you on my radio all i'm hearing is a song many bits um, as you've seen now and I've shaken it out so I'm just giving the floor a quick hoover before we go in and mop it the bedding was still in the wash um, and obviously needed drying after so we make the bed a little bit later on in the video
onto um, my landing area and I had just noticed that the doors leading into the bedroom and the bathroom were just looking a little bit grubby so all I'm doing is just spraying some of my diluted Sephora um, and I've just got a microfiber cloth I've got like a pack of them you can get them from Home Bargains just giving uh, the doors a wipe over and um, the landing smelt lovely and the doors were lovely and clean As you will have just seen, it's now night time. Her bedding is now dry, so it's time to just make the bed um, ready for bedtime. So I needed Tom to help me actually put the mattress cover back on it. It was quite tricky, but um, obviously this isn't something I do every time I wash her bed in. This uh, is done every couple of months. So um, it's a bit tricky when I do it, but obviously I just need someone to help me pop it back on. Sweet to start with my bedroom so first step was to strip the bed so I could get this on in the wash um, before I start tackling the dusting and the hoovering and the sorting and can you see we've now finally got bedside tables um, if you've not seen any of my other videos you'll know we had a bit of a dilemma with our bedside tables obviously with lockdown places like IKEA shut and we could order it um, to be delivered but their delivery charge was like 40 pounds which was ridiculous because the bedside tables were only 40 pounds each so we just held off until the click and collect option was available and then Tom went down and picked them up so I now have dresser drawers and bedside tables so you know it makes me feel good <laughs> So I'm kind of repeating what I did in Darcy's room, obviously stripped the bed and then I'm heading over to the windows. It's just something about when the sun is shining, just makes me want to just clean all the windows. So um, I've dusted all the shutters, cleaned the glass and then I'm obviously moving over to the mirror and then I'm taking everything off of my drawers um, so I can give them a good dust and then wiping the TV over um, before I move over to the bedside tables. Stars shining my bedding dried really really quick today so that was back ready to be put on in no time at all and there's just something about getting into fresh bedding um, on an evening ready to start the week it's my absolute favorite Um, it's Sunday and we've had a roast dinner so the kitchen needs some TLC so I'm just giving everything a good clean I've actually taken the bars off of the hob and put them in the dishwasher and I've also taken the filter out of the extractor fan which was well overdue it all just goes in the dishwasher um, like on a very hot cycle and it comes out like new so I've got that going now which is why the board on top of the hob looks a little bit odd because it's just balancing at the moment um, but just cleaning all the surfaces down the sink 
needed a good clean. Um, and then we're going over to the door fronts because they um, were not looking so great. <laughs> filmed last weekend and I'm just watching it back now doing the voiceover and my Ronnie is here sadly Ronnie is our dog and we had to have him put to sleep on Tuesday the 9th of March he became very very poorly so we're all absolutely heartbroken but that was just really lovely to see him in the video um, hence why I've missed an upload this week if you've seen I did put a post on my community page just to explain why um, Tuesday's video didn't come up but I am planning on trying to do a bit of a dedication video for him but it's just really really hard i've not even been able to um read through all my messages on instagram as yet um we're all very devastated but i'm um, just thankful that he's no longer in pain <laughs> Um, I've just wiped it around and sprayed it with the Flash uh, French Vanilla Soap um, just to make sure everything is nice and clean and then I'm giving the drains a deep clean so all I'm using for that is my soda crystals I pour about a cupful into each um, plug hole and the kettle is boiling in the background I'm going to pop a capful of Sephora down each drain as well once the kettle has boiled I just wash all that away with boiling water it just gets rid of any odors um the floor obviously is antibacterial and then the, the kitchen just smell amazing um and yeah that's how i deep clean my sink that's gonna be it for my video today everybody i hope you enjoyed and i hope it gave you some motivation don't forget to give the video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and if you're not already i hope you'll consider hitting the subscribe button and i'll see you in my next video bye everyone